Hey everybody, Johnny Stewart from Johnny Stewart Guitar Lounge here, and today I'm going to show you three ways to play a B chord, the dreaded B chord. And I do just want to show you this pick that I'm using quickly here because this is a pretty special pick. This is made by Rocky Mountain Slides, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love Rocky Mountain Slides and everything that Doc over there does. And not only does he make great slides, he also makes great guitar picks and lots of other cool, cool accessories. So this pick is actually made out of coconut shell. And I love the tone of this and that woody, earthy tone on this particular guitar, on my Epiphone Dove, and on a lot of my other guitars as well. I do use it sometimes on my electric guitars um, and my Les Pauls when I want a little bit more bite, but still have that nice warm earthy tone. So I'm going to have a bunch of these awesome coconut shell picks with me at the NAMM show next week. So if you're there, find me, look me up, and I will give you one. Alright, so the first way to play a B chord is going to be down here at the second fret, and we're going to do a short bar across the top five strings. And I've got a whole video on how to make this chord shape. In fact, I think I've got two videos on how to make this chord shape. So I will link them here in this video in the description so you can see them. But in case you don't watch that video first, I'm going to give you just a little bit of an overview here. You want to take this side part of your index finger and you want to use that to make your bar. I see a lot of people lay their finger flat across the strings like that to try to make a bar and that's not as good as far as I'm concerned because you've got a lot of fleshiness there and you've got to press a lot harder and it's harder to do. If you arc your hand and your wrist back just a little bit so that you're, you're playing more with the bonier side of the finger that's going to help you get that good bar and press down on the strings a lot easier. So, we'll go ahead and do that, then we'll take our ring finger and we're going to make a shorter bar just across these three strings, and that is across your D string, your G string, and your B string. And we're not going to play the low E, that's going to stay right out of the chord. So it's going to sound like this. Now, it can be hard for a lot of people, myself included sometimes, to get this ring finger right in place there and be able to make that shorter bar and, st and still get the high E string to stay open so you, can, so you can hear that F sharp for the fifth of your B chord. And so what you can do is, if you're having trouble doing that, then at least for now, so that you can still play along and play a B chord and use that chord shape, you can add your pinky here in on your B string, still at that fourth fret. So you still want to make a bar with your ring finger, and you're going to be using your ring finger for the D and the G strings but then you can put your pinky right there so you can still get that whole chord. See how it sounds the same? You're just helping yourself out a little bit by adding that pinky there if you can't get that to play with that chord shape with just the two fingers. Now for the second chord shape that I want to show you, we're going to move up the neck and we're going to go up to our seventh fret and that is the B note on your E string. And something cool that I don't think I've mentioned in my lessons yet is if you ever want to quickly remember where you are on the fretboard when you're playing, you can tell that based on your high E string and your low E string. So for this example, that's your E string. So that's your B note. That's your C. So that's your B. And that's your A. That's your G. So if you want to play a B chord, you know that you can play a B chord as long as you've got that high E on the 7th fret at the B note in it. So then you can shape your chord with the rest of your fingers around that. So for this particular chord shape, what I like to do is I like to make just a short bar using the pad now of my index finger across just the top two strings. So across your B string and your high E string. Then we'll take our middle finger and we'll put that on the 8th fret on the G string. And then we'll take our ring finger and put that on the D string on the 9th fret. And that's a B. Now the third way 
to play a B chord is staying up at the seventh fret, but now we're going to do a full bar chord. And I've got a couple of other videos with more tips on how to play a full bar chord. So this is going to be an open E chord shape, but we're going to move that up the neck to the seventh fret. So we're going to use our index finger as if we're moving the nut of the guitar to move everything up to the B. Remember, that's a B and that's a B. And so we're going to do that and then we're going to make the E shape, the open E chord shape using our last three fingers. So we're going to take our middle finger and we're going to put that on the eighth fret on our G string. We're going to take our ring finger and we're going to put that on the ninth fret of our A string. And then we're going to take our pinky finger and put that on the ninth fret on the D string. And that's a B, and that's a B, and that's a B. And also that added bonus that, that I gave you, the alternate version of this lower B chord, including the pinky, that's also a B. Well, all right, everybody, I hope that was helpful, and I sure hope that you will enter my contest where you can win a free, personalized, live video guitar lesson. The drawing for that is going to be April 15th. I will leave a link right here below uh, this video in the comments. Go ahead and enter. Can't wait to see who wins. Can't wait to see all of you next time. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like the video if it was helpful, which I certainly hope it was. And let me know in the comments what else you would like to see in future lessons. Take care. See you in the guitar lounge.